Hello, x squared minus x raised to the power 3 is equal to 80. What is the value of x? To solve this problem, I'm going to transfer 80 to the left hand side so that I have x squared minus x raised to the power 3 minus 80 is equal to 0. Now, 80 itself can be expressed as 16 plus 64. So my equation becomes x squared minus x raised to the power 3 minus 16 plus 64 is equal to 0. If I open up this bracket, x squared minus x raised to the power 3 minus 16 minus 64 is equal to 0. I would write this as x squared minus 16 minus x raised to the power 3 minus 64 is equal to 0. Now let us express 16 as 4 squared and 64 as 4 raised to the power 3. This will give us x squared minus 4 squared minus x raised to the power 3 minus 4 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0. I'm going to group this in brackets but as soon as I introduce brackets this becomes plus. So what I have is x squared minus 4 squared minus x raised to the power 3 plus 4 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0. For the first part, I have difference of 2 squares. And for the second part, I have addition of 2 cubes. So let us deal with the first part. x squared minus 4 squared is difference of 2 squares. And it can be expressed as x minus 4, x plus 4. The second part x raised to the power 3 plus 4 raised to the power 3 is addition of 2 cubes and it can be expressed as x plus 4 into brackets x squared minus 4x plus 4 squared. Now let us put them back into this equation. So I have x minus 4 x plus 4 minus I have x plus 4 into x squared minus 4x plus 4 squared here is 16 then equal to 0. A closer look will tell us that this is common in this expression and we can express it as x plus 4 then we are left with this x minus 4 minus x squared minus 4x plus 16 equals to 0 so I have x plus 4 into x minus 4 minus x squared plus 4x minus 16 is equal to 0. If we tidy this up, I have x plus 4 into this is x and this is x giving us 5x. So this is 5x, then negative 4 minus 16, that gives us minus 20, then we are left with minus x squared equals to 0. So x plus 4 into negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to 0. So we say either x plus 4 
is equal to zero or negative x squared plus 5x minus 20 is equal to zero. From the first part, if you subtract minus if you subtract 4 from both sides, x is negative 4. The second side, I'm going to divide through by negative 1, giving us x squared minus 5x plus 20 is equal to 0. We're going to solve this quadratic equation for x. I have x squared minus 5x plus 20 is equal to 0. Using the quadratic formula, x is going to be minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. a is 1, which is the coefficient of x squared. b is negative 5 and c is 20. If we put that into this formula, x is equal to minus minus 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 20 over 2 times 1. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of this will be 25 minus 4 times 1 times 20 will be 80 divided by 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of this will be negative 55 divided by 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus. We can separate this negative 55 into square root of 55 times negative 1, then divided by 2. Giving us x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 55 times the square root of negative 1 over 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 55. The square root of negative 1 is i, then divided by 2. Now we are going to separate this into two different solutions, giving us x, let's call this x2, because we already got a solution earlier. This would be our x1. So x2 is equal to 5 plus square root of 55 i over 2. And x3 is equal to 5 minus square root of 55 i over 2. And x1 is negative 4. So these are the three solutions to this problem and we can verify this solution by substituting into the problem. The problem was x squared minus x raised to power 3 is equal to 80. Let us start with the first one, negative 4. So we have negative 4 squared minus negative 4 raised to power 3 we should give us 18. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16 minus negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 is negative 64. We should give us 80. This is 16 plus 64. We should give us 
80 and 16 plus 64 is 80 meaning the first solution is perfect and we are going to ignore the other two solutions because they are imaginary solutions thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you in my next video